Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. John Hood, I want to ask you, what do you wish you had said on last week's show, but you didn't? Well, Tom, Patrick Woody made a reference towards the end of the show about economic development not being about just recruitment that I wanted to kind of play off of a little bit. If you think about any employment base for any uh, community, you've got three different kinds of employers. You have employers that have been brought in from somewhere else. They pre-existed. They've been recruited. You've got employers that are already there that you want to retain or expand their ranks. And then you have new companies that are created there. A lot of times politicians, because, you know, it's very difficult to say, I'm responsible for that two-person operation that started last right. year. You can't go to the ribbon cutting. Right, right. You know, and if it's an existing company, it's not always as newsworthy. So politicians have political incentives to focus primarily on that first category of recruited companies that they can claim credit for. And I'm not saying that's not important or the politicians shouldn't be worried about that. But retaining and expanding your existing employers and then adding new ones through entrepreneurship are frankly more important for rural areas in North Carolina right now than the recruitment well, question. Okay, so following that uh, line of thought, does that mean that instead of pouring millions of dollars or perhaps maybe even a billion dollars into recruiting an Amazon or an Apple or some big fish like that, we ought to consider allocating some of these incentives into rural counties for expansion of existing businesses or helping entrepreneurs start new businesses? Well, we, we've tried routing instead of dollars into rural areas for bait, for recruitment, and that doesn't really work. Right. Um, I, I do think that we have already tried reducing the cost of existing businesses. That's what tax cuts do, Tom. Uh, and it applies to rural areas and urban areas. But I would focus more on the skills gap, the educational needs that entrepreneurs and existing employer and employer relationships need. I think that is a more efficient use of dollars than either incentives or loans. I just don't want the government in, the, in business in venture capital for existing or new firms, I would rather focus on the knitting. What what public services do we deliver at what cost, and are they but good? That train enough? left the station a long time ago. I want to bring it back to the station and <laughs> reboard it. Well, thanks for watching the after spin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.